What's up you guys? You clicked on this video because you want to learn about culture and entertainment about the 90s. Those other videos not giving you enough information? Well I can tell you right now that this video is much more different than the others. It's much more worse. Pretty much an expert on this topic. Only because I lived through the 90s for less than six months. Okay, wait, no, don't change the video. This is actually really helpful. With my gathered information, you will become an expert. You'll know the biggest hit. And all the culture and entertainment about the 90s will come on the top of your head. Lunchables! See, so came up with that at the top of my head. Let's get started, shall we? First one is, what venue was used for entertainment? Now, one of the most popular entertainment eras of the 90s was the Disney Renaissance. Some of the movies inside the Disney Renaissance consisted of Mulan, Pocahontas, Aladdin, and Lion King. Now, if you don't know what any of those movies are, what is wrong with you? You own culture, piece of sugar. Sorry, I got a cute PG and... Um, this is a bag of flour. But if you were the one out of the ten that don't know, here are two Disney classics that are summed up of basically what they are. Reenacted. I can show you the world shining, shimmering sway. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Because it's too late, I'm kind of cheating on you. What? Sitcoms have also brought an impact to the 90s, but one in particular has been a popular favorite by many Seinfeld. And for the rascals that don't know what Seinfeld is, here's a clip that basically sums up Seinfeld as a whole. <laughs> yup, that's it. If you've seen that building, if you heard that tune on TV, you basically already have watched Seinfeld. Now for the next category. Popular activities of the 90s. We're mostly focusing on the dancing portion in this category. The 90s consisted of a lot of dancing, but there was three that stand out the most. One of them was the Macarena. <laughs> The electric slide. MC Hammers can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. And now for the popular movie stars and sports figures of the 90s. Let's get on the main stage and announce some of those folks. Hey, what's up you guys? It's your host with the most and we are out here for a special segment of the show called Name that famous person or sports player from the 90s. Now let's give a hands up round of applause. <laughs> let's get started with the sports players first. First up we have is Derek Jeter. Three times World Series champ, two times All-Star, 1996 All-Rookie of the year and next up we have Brett Favre, Super Bowl champ, three times the NFL MVP, MVP, my bad, five times pro baller, three times all pro, three times NFC player of the year, 1990 all D decade team. Oh my god. But Last but not least we got the movie stars. First up is Mr. Tom Cruise in the Mad Matinee Idol personal favorite, and last but not least, Jennifer Aniston from Friends. Well, you heard it here, folks. Then that concludes our segment for today of people, popular, but whatever the title was before, but yeah. Anyways, have a good night. See ya. And cut. <clears throat> Jeff, call the ambulance. I think I really did break something. And now for the next category. The American diet of the 90s. Ugh, before our people were actually decent. The 90s diets were usually consisted of a lot of vegetable oil, fats like animal fats, whole grains, and brands. Which is a major difference to what we have now. Most of our dietary plans consisted of sugars and carbs. Boy, way to go America. Anyways, the 90s had a lot of popular dishes. Some of these included Hot Pockets, Bagel Pizzas, and Molten Chocolate. Now I know what you may be thinking, they're still popular today. That's right. It's all from the 90s. Now in the 90s, foods were mostly homemade. People wanted to innovate their own creations and wanted to make some recipes at home. Hence why one of the recipes is the bagel pizza. <laughs> but enough about the food. Let's move on to the culture portion of the 90s. In the 90s, there were some events that actually characterized the 90s as a whole and affected the further future. There was the growth of terrorism from the Oklahoma bombing. This basically made us understand and made us more aware of what terrorism was. There was the O.J. Simpson trials. And for the presidential time period of the Playboy president, 
your content. Now for the next category, women's and minorities. Women and minorities had a much more bigger respect that they had in the 90s. For instance, they were treated as more as equals and more jobs were provided to them. Overall, they had a positive impact. Now in every generation, there's always a revolution or movement. And for the 90s, this is what it consisted of. The anti-abortion movement, anti-immigration, globalization, genocide in Rwanda, environmentalism. They're all pretty big deals and they put a major impact to the world. Now last but not least, the slangs and the sayings. Now there's a lot of them, so I'm gonna go over briefly of some of the major ones. Hey guys, got a dip. I'm all of that and a bag of chips. Wait, Abe Lincoln wasn't the first president? You're such a fart knocker. What's up, home slice? Hey there, home skillet. I got the pasties. Hey man, where did my hundred go? Dude, I cashed it out. Hey bro, you want this shirt? Psych! Dude, you're some trash at ping pong. But I said my grill, man. Talk to the hand. Dude, what's the dealio? I'm gonna open a can of whoop ass on you. Fat! Okay, that was mildly painful. But you guys get the gif. But um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys learned some new things about the cultural and entertainment of the 90s. And you can go off and tell everybody else about your new found knowledge. Hey guys, I learned about the 90s on YouTube on this one video. Yeah, this guy didn't teach me jack shit. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video, and until next time, peace. Yeah, we hooking back up, and when they bang us in the club, baby, Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. This is a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, actually, this was for a school project, but at the same time, I wanted to present it to you guys at the same time, because uh, considering it's like... It's been so long, and I do apologize that it has actually been four months since we actually posted a video on this channel, but no more, because I am officially announcing that we are going to be posting a video every week. That's right. Every once a week, 12 p.m. on Sundays, you'll be seeing more from the BMP channel. And that from that, you guessed right, there is going to be a video next week on Sunday. So just like that, 12 p.m. on every Sunday. But yeah, basically, that is the new schedule. Anyways, back to the subject. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do anything you want with the video, and I greatly appreciate your support. So thank you so much for watching the video, and hopefully, we'll see you next time, alright? See ya. Peace. Bum 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 bum. Banana with a mustache.